18 months ago, a small so-called grassroots campaign was launched with the intentions of cutting down Amazon, except the backers behind it weren't exactly so small. It's funded by Amazon rivals like Walmart, Oracle, Simon Property Group. Those are major businesses, each with a bone to pick with Amazon. Uh, they each have things like a government cloud contract with a decline of foot traffic in the mall or direct head-to-head e-commerce competition to think about. Now the Pulitzer Prize-winning reporter behind that story joins us, James Grimaldi. James, good morning. Thanks for having me. Great to have you. So uh, really fascinating how you dug through this and figured out who's really behind this. H how common do you think this is and what does it say about the state of play in, in competition and all of the I guess, things that Amazon has its fingers in? Well, I think there uh, it happens a lot where you'll find corporations that are backing uh, think tanks and other groups that may share their agenda. They may even divert their agenda a little bit in that direction. What was somewhat unusual about this was this group is only, which is called Free and Fair Markets Initiative, was only aimed at Amazon. They, just about everything they had done, with a very small exception, had been uh, critical of Amazon, critical of government subsidies, critical of HQ2, uh, the privacy, uh, alleged privacy lapses, uh, damage to small businesses and what have you, uh, as well as antitrust concerns. Uh, so, uh, and they had a list of people who were listed as members, and when I dug into that, I found uh, a lot of kind of uh, phony baloney, uh, and I realized I needed to dig a little deeper to try to figure out who was really behind it. Yeah, we've long suspected that Walmart might have pressured uh, suppliers to choose uh, a, maybe a not Amazon Web Services. Clearly, we can see what's in it for Oracle. But what about comment from either of those two giants? Yeah, so uh, Oracle acknowledged that they uh, had funded this organization, of course, as you pointed out. They were big competitors uh, for them uh, uh, for this $10 billion cloud contract from the Pentagon. Oracle's out of that running, and Amazon is still in it, and Oracle's trying to slow that down. Uh, Walmart said that they had never uh, funded uh, this group, fair, Free and Fair Markets Initiative, but my reporting shows that it was funded through an intermediary that supported it. Uh, the ho and Simon Property simply did not respond. Of course, they're the largest mall operator in the country. The whole operation was run by Phil Singer, a former aide to Senator Chuck Schumer and Hillary Clinton's uh, 2008 uh, presidential campaign. He founded an organization, uh, a firm called Marathon Strategies. Walmart is a client of uh, Marathon Strategies, at least up until the time the story was uh, reported. Uh, and Oracle also had uh, helped fund the organization. So they really tried to distance themselves from it and, and somewhat deny it. But our reporting showed that, in fact, they were uh, bankrolling this operation. Well, James, arming the opposition is a time-honored tradition in Washington. A, a few months ago, we had the story about Facebook working with definers. Um, there are a number of rivals in Silicon Valley and outside it who, who have a bone to pick with Google. As we see big tech generally under fire, do you think it's likely? Are you looking into the possibility that there are just numerous forces at play, even within Silicon Valley, trying to take down their competition? Well, uh, yeah, I think, I, 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 just to be fair a little bit to their concerns, I think there probably are some legitimate antitrust concerns uh, involving these companies, and that's why the, the uh, Trump administration at the FTC and the Department of Justice are conducting a very real investigation here. But I think if you're going to create a group, you want to do uh, one with a group where they're real members, not someone who's been dead for six months, or a defunct Tea Party movement in rural uh, uh, Pennsylvania, or worse, uh, citing the name of a union, the Service Employees International Union in Los Angeles, which denied they had anything to do with it. And then the group, Marathon Strategies, provided a document that the union said was forged and fake and not a real document. So I think it's probably legitimate for these companies to raise competition concerns. The real issue is, uh, how are you going to do it? Are you going to do it in an ethical way and be upfront about it? Or are you going to create a group, pretend like you're grassroots, and, uh, and submit op-eds all throughout the country while pretending to be something that you aren't? Yeah, well, clearly the knives are out, and you documented it well. James Grimaldi from The Wall Street Journal, thank you. Thanks for inviting me.